Welcome back to more Girls Hoops. At the Hangar in Ayersville, we start with the first game of this doubleheader with the Paulding Lady Panthers taking on the Spencerville Lady Bearcats in Division III semifinal sectional action. In the second half, Spencerville up by more than 30 points. Lady Panthers trying to claw their way back as Addison Pease gets the rock to Libby Mobley. She nails the long-range jumper for two. Lady Panthers cut the deficit to 34, but Spencerville too much on the night as Sydney Lamar brings it up court to Gabby Croft. She hits a wide open Clara Goki on the perimeter. Spencerville moves on with a 64 to 33 win. They'll play number one seed OG Saturday at 1 p.m. Now for game two of the night in this Division III sectional semifinal doubleheader as the Tenora Lady Rams from Defiance made the short drive to the hangar to take on the Lady Pirates of Bluffton. Picking it up a tip off, Samantha Scholes gets it inside to Ayla Grandy. That easy layup is the first basket of the game. Then, good ball movement around the perimeter finds Riley Eicha. She drains that three ball to put Bluffton up by five, and she wasn't done. Now Scholes drives, but kicks it outside to Eicha once again on the perimeter. She knocks down another three, Bluffton up by seven. Eicha on fire from downtown tonight. She drains her third three from the corner. This time, Lady Pirates extend the lead to seven. Then Kendall Giesich finds Scholes running to the hoop. However, that would not be enough as the Lady Pirates fall 42 to 35 and end their season. To the Division III sectionals at Lincoln View. It's an all-max showdown as the Fort Recovery Lady Indians take on the Coldwater Lady Cavs. Now, in the opening quarter, Becca Wenning finds Riley Rizmiller, and the University of Dayton commit nails the long two. Coldwater down by one. On the other end, Callie Wendell gets the ball, and she decides to hang three on the board. Lady Indians now lead by four. Wendell feeling it from beyond the arc tonight. She sets up and buries another three ball. Fort Recovery takes a 13 to 12 lead after that shot, but Lady Cavs not letting up as Riz Miller fights her way for the basket. Coldwater takes this game 44 to 33. They play number two seed Jefferson on Saturday at 6 p.m. To the nightcap at the barn, the Lady Raiders of Wayne Trace take on the Parkway Lady Panthers. In the second quarter, Parkway leads 15 to 11 as Paige Williamson connects with Emery Niddle, who finds Allison Hughes, and she banks it off the glass. Lady Panthers lead by six. Now down the court, Kareen Winans connects with Gracie Shepard, and the senior buries the triple try. Wayne Trace now down by three. Lady Panthers can't shoot the long or can shoot the long ball too. Williamson decides to show off her range. Parkway now leads 20 to 17. But the Lady Raiders not giving in. Shepard finds Harper Myers, and the sophomore puts three on the board. Lady Raiders go on to win 55-42. They'll play Alanis back at Lincoln View at 7.30 on Saturday.